How's it? Sean here from the Games Yard. Riser Prussia Gold Card Wait. We're going to start our first real campaign of the scenarios. Okay, cool. So I'm going to play it. These are the options I'm picking. There's no music because the, the, there's no volume control on that. Battle animation at uh, low and uh, yeah, uh, everything that's set up here. We're going to play with the activation rule on a, a normal, the middle one. It gives a large uh, uh, movement penalty and combat penalty if the stack command is not activated. Uh, randomized generals off. Naval box is normal. Extended pool, historical. Uh, law, uh, histor historical uh, attrition, uh, historical uh, foreign entry, normal and delayed commitment, medium. That means if two generals in the same area, same region, they might not fight. I think that's real realistic. So it's a medium delay. So they might not fight for seven days or whatever. They might just sit and look at each other. I like that system. That's what makes us. And fog of war is obviously on. AI, I'm playing with a medium detection bonus. This just gives an intelligence bonus to the AI. It's important. It improves the AI's decision making. Uh, aggressiveness on normal, give the AI more time, and the normal. Um, I'm playing on normal for the activation bonus. It gives a plus one uh, bonus to activation rolls. Use all behaviors and on sergeant. Now, sergeant, there's no advantages or disadvantages to me or the AI. And that's how I'm going to be playing all these games, all these games on um, uh, Rise of Prussia Gold. All of them. I like it like that. So let's start the new game. Yeah, we've done all the three tutorials. Now we're going to play, this, we're going in chronological order from the earliest date. And it's lovely. This puts a bit of historical flavor in it. So we're going to play Maria Theatre at Bay. That's 25 turns. I'm going to do this in 40 minute increments, 40, 40, because I'm going to, the videos are not going to be longer than 40 minutes. So I'll end it. So this, anything by 20, 25 turns, we'll probably do about three videos. Uh, one, if we, 34 turns, also three or four videos. Invasion of Saxony, probably doing one video. And then the big campaign, 176 turns. I don't know how many videos I'm going to do with that. Okay, so that's how, we get, that's how we're going to play it. So our first video is going to be this one. Okay, we're going to pick it. The First Cilician War, 1741. And we're going to play first as Prussia. And then I'm going to come back and play as uh, Austria once I've finished this one. Once I've won or we, this campaign's over. Okay, so 1741, Maria Theresa at bay. The Prussians invade Cilicia. Okay, on December the 16th, 1740, the Prussian army enters Silesia to annex the whole part of it. The Prussians have been mobilized and concentrate rap concentrated rapidly thanks to their permanent army and took Austria by surprise. Okay, this is the first one, first war. Maria Theresa reacts. After Charles VI's death on October the 20th, 1740, his daughter saw her inheritance threatened despite promises made by treaties. As soon as the Prussian threat became a reality, with moving troops and, concent and concentration, many Austrian reg regiments dispersed in the empire and rushed to Silesia. At the time of the invasion, the Austrian force had grown from about 2,400 men to uh, 8,000 men in Silesia. Sil Silesia. Oh, okay. With many regiments still on the move, they would take weeks and months to eventually reach Silesia. So we're going to have the same challenge when we play Austria with this scenario. Same type of challenge. So this, yeah, the Prussians didn't have that challenge because they're ready for war. Okay, cool. So who do we have here? We got, uh, ooh, we got Frederick II. And there's all these brigades. We've got some regular infantry there, regulars. We've got some grenadiers with this guy over here. That's Camus' brigade. we got some dragoons and we got some artillery. And we're carrying some uh, supply. All right. So all these three guys, let's just look out. What do we have here? All these three guys are in in uh, Frederick's, uh, sorry, uh, Frederick the Second's army. Oh, before we carry on, what are our objectives? All right. Let's have a look. Okay. So victory points and objectives for the scenario. Sudden death is off. Our current uh, morale is 110. The Austrian morale is 120. These are all the objective cities that we need to control. Most of them are controlled by Silesia. 
this one is by Austria and one of them is by Bohemia. We have, we have controlled none of them. It's total 11 and we need 11. Objective condition is not fulfilled. Accumulated victory points, we have 30 and the enemy has 275. Points accumulated each turn from cities 4 and the enemy 26. No combat losses. The scenario will end in 1742, early Jan. It's the first turn and 25 turns remain. And these are our strategic towns. We control four. Uh, we only got three listed there. Uh, total 10 and we need 10. Strategic uh, towns condition not fulfilled. The strategic towns are not so important. And I'm going to put this on strategic locations. You know, the little star map. Now, you see everything that's flashing is a strategic, is an objective town. Could be a strategic one as well, but it's an objective town. And the ones that are highlighted, these ones like that, that aren't flashing, um, are, are uh, strategic towns. So we need to control, let's have a look here. Okay, so this is the area we're working with. Okay, so the, it's all down, oh, geez, where am I now? Okay, so it's all down here. So, these are strategic towns, so we need to, uh, okay, so basically these, watch my mouse, where these, where my mouse is going, these are all our objective towns, the objective locations that we need to control. There's one there. And these two over there. So we need to come down here and take control of all the strategic towns are important because they also give you victory points but it's objective towns that win us the scenario if i'm not mistaken from what i was reading it's objective towns that we need to win by okay so what do we have we've oh i wanted let's just look at our forces i hate this this thing because it's so complicated there's all our generals there's our hqs it's best to always look on the map. The F1 gives us the forces, which is the most, I think it's the easiest way to look at it. And there's our typical forces. And we can see this on the map. I think the scenario is small enough to be able to not necessarily go and use this too much. Because we have, it's not big enough like the 170 where we need to be able to go and look. We can see everything on the map. These are available replacements. Okay, so as this is what's available. So as we take losses in our, it's not, it's not, let me, let me just give you an idea. I found out about this. I did some reading. Um, I used to think originally it's like forces, like actual units, you know, like units that we're going to get at a place and then we can move those units and form. It's not. This is our force. This is our replacements. These things sit here and as we take losses and as our units diminish in size and whatever it draws from these so when we take losses to this unit over here and say we lose an element there and it lose then it'll draw from this this is how it works in, in it's different from the acw one where you actually made units this one you don't you draw from the replacement pool and then you you supplement that replacement pool and I'm going to show you how there's two ways to do it. I've, I've actually read, I've looked at this. The first way is military recruitment mode. Now over here, you we can build any of these items. Okay, but they cost. Let me just move him over there. They cost, uh, like for example, if I want to, uh, I'll, I'll look over here and I'll think, ah, oh, I don't have many Prussian light infantry I need because it's going down and there's going to be nothing I can't. So I can build from here, and it's going to cost me 27 money, 30, 51 uh, conscripts, and uh, 6 war supply, and 60 days to build. I can then also build some uh, grenadiers, and that's what you see with a tooltip. That's what it's going to take. Now I'm going to do one, because I do want to build one, and I'm going to put, you, you can only put them in the Greek. So each region has a place that they, they've got population that will supply that. And if you build too much, yeah, you can't build there anymore. You've got to build there, because the population of that region can't. So I'm going to take one, and it makes like a man over there. Right, he's there. Now, let me give you an idea. Now he's, I'm just going to put him in the city, in the structure. Now, there he is. Now when he comes out in 60 days, right this will come into here okay and it'll add to this so every time your troops are 
losing troops or losing elements and stuff like that it's drawing from here okay does it make sense that's the one way to do it okay you can also and you'll we'll see this probably in the second turn we also can select military options and I'm, when it when we get military options i'll show you how that works it's 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 very it's the same you're doing the same thing but it's you've got it it's immediate but i'll show it to you when it happens okay so i'm going to i'm going to yeah sorry where was i uh military recruitment i'm just gonna build uh, i'm also gonna build the grenadiers in there boom so there we done and i want to build some supply but i'm not going to because the supply uh is it's uh, it's only be built partially so we won't build it we'll come back after this and build this also here in rise of prussia gold new to it with the gold version is we can also make decisions for example we can see we're all agreed now we can go and place a decision there like draft we want to draft people into our army okay so if i highlight this it tells you we can go place it in a place uh, it costs three victory points but the decision on average will reduce our loyalty in that region by 20 percent and also reduces our military control but it gives us 10 conscript companies now i haven't used this but i'm assuming that these are conscript companies that are getting put in here so we get 10 of them i'm, I'm just assuming that I'm, i haven't used it but we will somewhere along the way here I just want to read this, receive a in various numbers, depending on your control of the strategic cities. A replacement allows you to create one element of a unit as long as the said unit is supplied region with an unbesieged. Okay, that just tells us. So that, so I'm not sure if that replaces, puts conscripts, if that's where the conscripts go. So I'm also just learning this. It's quite a bit different from the other versions that I've played. Uh, requisitions as well. So yeah, uh, you can ask for people to give you money and supply and you can put it in a in a thing and but the thing is with it it'll reduce your loyalty and your military control but you get ten thousand and one more supply and you can do a whole ton of decisions here so this is why this is such an awesome game you've got to you can't hurry uh, this these types of games you can't like try to get to the end as quick you've got to go with a process and use each decision try and make the best decision at each time of what you need and what you can use so yeah so those are the decisions now uh let me just have a look yeah so on the top here we've got 30 uh, 30 victory points we get four per turn we've got morale 110 we get morale from winning battles and all that type of stuff one engagement point uh and we get uh, we've got five and we receive one uh we've got money of 40 uh 178 and we receive 42 per turn and we have conscripts we see 40 per turn but we've got three because we've actually gone and put some cons we've cost us conscripts for that and war supply 88 and 25 per turn okay so that's a good number to keep going now now is that now we're gonna we're gonna Go with this campaign. We're going to see how far. I'm going to see how far. I'm going to see if we can win this campaign. Because the Prussians obviously won it. So my idea is this. We've got this guy over here. We've got, he's got some decent uh, brigades underneath him. Um, and he's, these brigades have got normal infantry. And they've got grenadiers. And we've got some horse. Let's see what he's got. And we've got some cannons. And we've got some pontiers. These things are great because they... They're very good in sieges, and they also create siege works. So this is when we're sieging. Our general, our main guy, which is Frederick II, he's got all these abilities. Uh, he's emperor, he's a superior tactician, he's charismatic, he's an offensive master, and he's got an assaulter. That's for fortresses. And he's also got a strategic rating of six. He can... If I press this, this is the area where he's controlled. So any of our core that's in this area will for, will be able to have the benefits that he gives in his chain of command. Uh, the next guy we've got is this guy. This is a core commander, and he's got those benefits. He's got a five strategic rating, a three offensive and defensive. Not too bad. He's got with him some regular infantry. He's got some cavalry. He's got uh, grenadiers. He's got regular infantry, and he's got... He's also carrying some supply and cannons. 
Then we got this guy over here, Leopold. Uh, yeah, Leopold Maximin van Als. I can't pronounce his German name, so please bear with me. Strategic of five, two defense and two uh, attack. He's a pretty, he's also got these uh, good administrator. He's a master log uh, lo uh, logistics, logistics, logistician. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Provides a 25 reduction to the stack supply consumption. And he's also a salter. Good for, for uh, fortresses and that. And he's got these, these heavy, these are more, these are for sieges. Uh, siege experts. They help us in sieges. So he's pretty good. Uh, that's him over there. He's got a fair amount and he's carrying the, the actual, the emperor, Frederick II. He's carrying quite a good. Now we've got this guy as well. It's also under our, also part of our core. But he's not active. He's got this, when's he become, uh, three turns. So we've got to wait for three turns to get him. And then we've got this guy over here. Uh, he's permanently fixed. He's only unfixed if he's attacked. Okay. So I think I covered all the bits around the scenario. I think we're in good shape. Austria is still trying to get the regiments and stuff to come and uh, help. So I think we can do some good damage. I think we can take these areas now. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to come down here and con gain control of that. And this one. That's our first prerogative. All these objective towns. So the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to put him on, I'm going to put him on offensive. I want all these guys on offensive. I don't know why they, okay. I'm going to put him on uh, synchronized movement. And that's our first order of battle. Okay. We've, I just want to check. We've made our order of, uh, there's, there's the grand, there's the grand deers and there's the, so we've made that, made that purchase. And he's still on hold. Is there anything else I need to check? Checked over there. No, I'm not too worried about that just yet. Uh, military options. Yeah. So we've got we've got some light, but this is going to be used up quickly. We've got some elite infantry, light infantry. We've got some cavalry, heavy cavalry. We've got we've got to watch this. It's very important. Um. Yeah. I think that's it. Is there anything I wanted to do here? Hmm. Nothing I forgot. Okay, next turn. Our first turn. Okay, let's go in there. Okay, good. So what's the story over here? Okay, let's just put these guys so I can see them. I like to be able to see what's going on here. Okay, good. Now we've it's besieged. It's a, two, a size two fort and size two city, and it is besieged. But assaulting is not allowed unless uh, unless well unless it's a non fortified city. So we've got to wait until there's a breach before we can assault. We can put these guys. So I'm going to leave those guys there besieging that. I'm not going to leave them anymore. I'm going to leave them. Uh, you see, you know that that we had that elite infantry over here. See, it's gone. It's gone into and here's here's the this is the most important thing is this log thing because this keeps you without this log you you know you'd be buggered. So let's just see what happened to the log. Okay, Australia, Austria began to impose requisitions on the local population. Also requisitions on the... So he started like coercing the population for requisitions. Uh, okay, we received the guard, their corpse. That's one of those elite uh, grenadiers. B B Wendell's... Wed Weddell's brigade received grenadiers. Okay, so that all came... That all came from this... That was there. You see, it's empty now. That's why I built those extra grenadiers. Uh, Liberts received houses and says we arrived and go. Okay, we arrived and go. All three of us. Siege works established and a new option available. Okay, so there's the siege works. Siege works. Okay, these a siege a one point single bonus to the stack when attacking forts. Okay. 
uh, carried with plus and in placed gangs. These guns are, are in place batteries and can't be moved outside the reef. This personal ability a plus. So he's building a siege works. It's great for for besieging besieging uh, fortresses and forts and stuff like that. So that's great. But there's still no breach there. So that's not going to help us. Now, uh, let's go to the new option. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Now, before, remember before I went over here and I wanted to, you know, build these. They cost money, conscripts, and war supply. And they take 90 days. There's a period. It takes a long time to build. But we've got a quick option. We can, we can requisition uh, military options. Now, with this, the difference with this is like, for example, I'm going to put it, let's just put, uh, I just wanted to see, you've got light infantry. Let's just say we put it on, let me just see if we've got cavalry. Oh, we don't. Okay. Let's just see if we put it on cavalry training. So, uh, two Prussian cavalry replacements. Cost 40 money, four conscripts, 20 war supply, and five engagement points. We have six. We've got enough of everything there in terms of money. Uh, war supplies, constructors, companies, and all this type of stuff. The only thing is we've got six engagement points. We only receive one per turn. So you can't just come here and flood it. The important thing with this is that it requires cons uh, engagement points extra than what the, but it's immediate. So if I click on this, which I'm going to do, next turn you will see two Prussian cavalry replacements pitch up here. There's no 90 days waiting for it to build. So that's the great thing with this with these military options. And also we can also oh no, sorry. And we, we can build basically everything, whatever is available. So this enables us to let me go back. Not have to wait, you know, for 90 days and all that stuff for that to be built and whatever. This is immediate. It gives us stuff immediately. But it costs uh, engagement points. Luckily we've got We've got six, and it only costs five. But we only grow one engagement point per turn. So you understand, it's not something we can use all the time. No, oh, sorry, where was I now? Okay, and we've also got diplomatic options. Now, we raise more money via loans from the local gentry. 50, 50 thalers or money. Cost two morale, 25 victory points, and five engagement points again. So engagement points, one a turn. Okay, so you can see that we're not going to be able to build that. But that's one way of getting money and building these, getting these these out quicker. All right, so you've got the two options. You've got the construction mode and you've got, of course, decision modes, uh, this uh, military options mode. So as you get more engagement points, you can build it. But we only grow with one engagement point per turn. So you can't use that all the time. All right, I hope that... I hope that uh, Explain that. So we're building a we're building a uh, and a uh, regular, okay. And that's about it. Is there anything else we can build yet? We can't build that. Oh, we've got a yellow. I think yellow is part part supply. We can put another. I think I'm going to put another grenadier battalion in there. Okay, I think that's important because they also they also they. I mean. You remember something, they, these are supplement, as these guys lose in battle and as, as, as attrition and they don't all start with all their forces intact. Some of these guys are not all completed out here and they, like you, like you see where it replaced it over here, they then supplement them. Okay, so that's, that's an important way of looking at this. All right, so we're going to leave everything the way it is. We're going to stay here besieging this until we get the breach. He's not ready yet. He's still, he's still two turns to go. All right, let's go to the next turn. Okay, it's not snowing. <laughs> uh, structures are defended and assaults are still impossible. We still can't assault over here. Okay, we made a breach at this place. Uh, one breach. 
Uh, we inflicted 10 hits on the enemy during the siege. Uh, agents, they're still from Austria. they begun this of imposing requisitions from the local population. And we trained two cavalry. Remember I said to you the two cavalry? There they are there. Do you see what I'm saying? But now I can't because I'm only sitting with two engagement points. I can't build light infantry because I'm only sitting with two engagement points. I do want, I do want to see if I can still build... If I, can, I can't build any of that yet. Okay, I've, I'm all out of that. So I'm going to leave that for a turn to build up my... He's not ready yet. Uh, so let's just keep besieging this area over here. Let's just keep him on. Uh, and that's all that we received. There. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Okay, so we got a breach there. See, it's turned red. So we can assault it. Okay, cool. So we've made it. We've made a, a breach at this place over here. Fortress for two breaches. We inflicted five hits on the enemy during the siege of that place. He's still imposing the requisitions on all these places over here. <laughs> down here. Okay, good. I'm glad he's getting on down there. He needs to uh okay and he's now active okay he's ready and ditches brigade is now active in frankfurt okay so so this all of these guys are active these guys are still building uh i'm gonna put a i, I want to put more in there we're sitting with three engagement points so we can't we can't because all of these require five engagement points so we're out of our league there we're still building light infantry and we've got a little bit of light. We're still building grenadiers. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna build some more. Ah, okay. You see, some of these areas will be highlighted as green, which means that if it's not, because we were building there, but the population can't support anymore. So we've got to, we've got to put that guy over there. Okay, good. So I want him building in the background. Regular infantry is important. Okay, so let's just, yeah, and I was reading up in the mail. I'm still, I'm still learning this game. It's an awesome game. Uh, I just love it to bits. You know, once I start getting played, playing with it, I just lose my myself in it. But it's an intricate game. You've got to go slowly with it. You've got to plan your moves. It's not like a fast, like some games you could just head out. This is you've got to you've got to do everything in in a, in a slow sort of manner and look at what you've got. Okay, cool. So we've made a breach over there. So we can basically assault this. Okay, so let's put everything on assault. Okay. And let's bring him over to here as well. So he's down there. All right, cool. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, okay, we didn't read this though. Uh, it's active. Okay, we got to that part. Is now okay. These degrades okay. <clears throat> these are those are just these units that became active. Okay, that's artillery. Okay, that's all of that. Siege works established. Okay, cool. Next turn. Now we should we should take this place. Should take it. It's a bit of a fight, eh? Okay, so we won it. He had a fair amount of guys in there. We lost quite a bit. We lost horses. He lost eight cannon. He's uh, ranged. We had we suffered eighty nine. He suffered seventy five, and we suffered four, and he suffered fourteen. So basically, captured equipment. Uh, we also captured some stuff from him. I think this is war supplies and stuff. A number of prisoners were a uh, number of prisoners. Okay, that we captured. I don't think these apply because they're not written, written uh, highlighted. And he had ten guys that ran away. They're still getting used to this. There's all these range casualties, and we used all our abilities in there. He was just one general. We had all our generals in there. He wasn't. Well, he doesn't. He's a four. So he's not bad. But we got the six. You know, we got Frederick going on here, yeah, and he has all the elements that happened there. 
he tried to some of his elements try to retreat let's look at the to get a better idea okay so it's went a few rounds this wasn't an easy fight eh? Hey? well was it we won it but the siege works out uh and there's all the the i'm not going to get all into detail with this so but i'm just going to show it as we highlight it okay cool so that's done so we took the place okay so all right so it's us we have military control over there we made the breach total three we inflicted all that we won that fight as well we know about that he's still imposing these local population uh these requisitions uh it's committed against us <clears throat> okay so we arrived there it also arrived that's this guy arrived in here we we captured 800 rifles from the enemy we took 800 prisoners uh, national morale was increased, gained. While taking Fortress, we managed to capture 14 supply carts, one crate of ammunition. Uh, it boosts uh, the war effort. We're succeeding. We've earned five engagement points from that, so we sit at nine. And we gain control of that region. We gain control of that. Austria destroyed this depot over here. Okay, he destroyed the depot that was in there. Uh, we arrived there. Uh, it was correct. His new seniority. Some of the generals got new seniorities. They were congratulated on the victory. Uh, new seniorities was okay. So all these guys got new seniorities. Okay, nothing else much happens. It's snowy, so the weather is not really conducive to the to this type of war. But it's good. Okay, so what 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 actually have what have we? Okay, so we found these. Okay, so these things, you can't, sorry, oh, you can't, I used to, but look at the speed. So this is a great siege thing, but when you put in an army, look how it slows, 10%. <laughs> so I just put that back in the fortress, boom, it's in. Back in there, boom, it's in. Okay, so he's in. All right, cool. Now our next plan of action. Now the important thing is to, in order to stay, I'm going to leave this guy over here. No, with this guy over here. I'm going to leave him because I actually want him. He's got this. He's got a decent force. I mean, this is this guy that came up from down here. This area he came down here to help us here. He's, he was activated. He's got a decent force. He's got some elite infantry. He's got, I think this is cuirasses. He's got also these fusilers. I think they're fusilers. Line infantry. Uh, he's got, he's got regular infantry, regular infantry, he's got a decent force, and he's still got elite infantry over there, like grenadiers, and these, these guards, the cores, and he's carrying a, so I'm going to leave him there, because I actually want his route to be down there, so, the next move I'm going to make, oh, jeez, I've got to actually take him off synchronized move, if I put him on synchronized move, and he's unsynchronized, but he's not. If I move him to there, does he also? Yeah, he also goes. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to move him back. All right, let's just take him out. Just, just checking with his game. Okay, good, good. Okay, so he's not unsynchronized. But he is, but I've moved him off that whole thing. Okay, so he's unsynchronized. He's He's unsynchronized and he's unsynchronized. I actually want these guys to come down here. Okay, they're going to make their way there. He's not going to go with. He's not unsynchronized. And he is going to build a depot. Boom. Because we need, we need a depot for down here. And these guys are going to move down there. This army is going to move in here. Then we're going to have to leave some troops here because you can't, <laughs> in this game, well, in this war, you can't take, you can take over a place, but you can't just move out of there and leave it empty. You've got to leave troops in there. Otherwise, you lose control of it. So you'll see here, we've now gained control of Guru, but we've got to, if we want to move out and out of there, we've got to leave something in there. 
Otherwise, we lose control of it. So we got our first objective city. Okay, so we got nine engagement points. Let's see what we can do with that. What do we need? How about some heavy cavalry? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got nine and we can take some heavy cavalry. So that's will enable us to put some heavy cavalry as a replacement in here as well. And we need that. Um, I'm going to leave because I got over here. I got these two units growing. And over here, I got those two units. So leave them. They're going to come out in 90 days. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've been through that. All right, I'm just checking the log. All right, next turn. I hope the weather clears up here. Because I'm I'm assuming, you know, cold weather, the troops move slower, nobody moves fast, everybody goes like at the snail's pace. Okay, that's probably why he didn't move. Okay, so he's not moving. Oh, he was going too. No, no, he wasn't. Did he build this depot? Let's just first... Okay, I'm going to take this out, this out, and this out. I'm going to do that again because it's like 131 days. Did he build a depot? Okay, the Austria is still imposing requisitions on the local population. We started building a depot at... Did we get the depot though? Yeah, we did get the depot. Okay, cool. So if we look at this, we've got a depot there and this will start supplying us over there. Still no uh, movement from him. I don't see anything happening from his side. Uh, okay, where were we? Uh, okay, we started, we built it. We finished building it. We started training. It's now ready to strike. Okay, so we received some replacements. There's our first line infantry came out. You see that? Uh, okay, we trained some cavalry. We also trained some heavy cavalry. Yeah, there's our heavy cavalry. Can we do, is this Prussian cavalry? Can we do, we've got five. Ah, we can do cap for the cavalry as well because we just got the five. Boom, let's do the cavalry for the next turn. Uh, let's have a look. We can train some cavalry. We, we trained one cavalry and we we trained some heavy. This week. Bavaria, okay, France sides with Bavaria. France has decided to support any claim for, for, of Bavaria for the empire in case of Charles VI's death. France promises to send 40,000 men in the following months to support the elector so sides with Bavaria can we actually do stuff here I don't know I don't know how those boxes work well, we'll learn as we go along in the campaign so Bavaria is around here I think this is uh, I'm assuming this is Bavaria this is Bavaria I think this is Bavaria I'm not so sure but anyway once we get some activity going down there we'll start okay so uh we're gonna keep that we're gonna keep that on turn he's not on that i'm gonna put i'm gonna keep him on that and on that and i'm moving him now to there okay so he says 131 days why oh geez that's why that's why that's why this thing yeah he's not supposed to be in there okay i don't know how that ended up in there okay no, 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 no. That's why we weren't able to move. Yeah. Okay. So. He's now going to move there. That's more like it. 11 days. He's not moving. I'm keeping him there. Okay. That's why that thing didn't move. We've unfortunate, un unbeknownst to me, I actually... Let's put that in there. All uh, right. Unbeknownst to me, I actually accidentally I think it's in there. Yeah, I accidentally put one of these guys in there. That's why I was thinking, hey, how come it's taking so long? Okay, he's gonna stay there for now. Uh just gain a little bit of control because we have we have two percent loyalty and ninety-eight percent. So I'm gonna keep him on aggressive. Alright, let's go to the next turn. Now these guys should move. Jeez. I don't understand. Why is it taking about it? Because he's carrying that. Okay, so he's going over there. 
boom, we're in there. That's our next place. Okay, we should have been there last time. Oh, there's my clock. God, 40 minutes. All right, we're going to end it off on this turn. I just want to arrange them there so that we can see. Uh, and then this guy over here. Okay, good. Um, all right, so, okay, I think we're going to end there and come back afterwards uh, to do the next video on this. It's 25 turns, so you can't really do it in one sitting, and 40 minutes is, is enough time for one part of this, of this game, and it's intricate. You know, this game, you can't just move stuff around and just, it's not like playing and an uh, 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 RTS where you just move things around and nothing actually affects everything else. This game is intricate. You've got to read the logs, find out where you were, look at the logs build up to, and and before you make, and there's a ton of stuff you've got to do with each move. So 25 turns is, a, is quite a bit. This will probably take two or three videos uh, to finish this campaign, but at least we started the first leg of it. Yeah, um, I, I don't want to stop. I mean, I love this game. I love, like, all my games on my channel. I get to this period and I've got to stop, but I have to. You know, I've got too much to do with my playing seven games, seven, eight games I'm making videos on, so I don't have enough time. All right, cool. So, till the next one, please like this video. Um, share it. Well, let me just do a recap. So, we've we've ended off here. We, we've kept him there. In our next, we're probably going to move him down here and put somebody in there to guard that place. And then over here, we're now, I'm going to set up the parameters to besiege this area over here. You know, what we need to besiege it. Uh, how we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do to come down here. And that'll be for the next video. All right. Please like this video. Share it with everybody you know. Even your dog. Maybe your dog will enjoy this. <laughs> and even if you don't like it, like it anyway. <laughs> and please uh, put your thumbprint on that big red button to subscribe. I'm playing these awesome games on my channel. This is one of the games that I love. I'm learning this game, so I've never played this before. I've played similar ones, but this each one of these AOG titles is very different. So please subscribe and uh, to my channel and watch me play all these games. And uh, yeah, leave comments, suggestions, uh, whatever you want. Just, you know, leave a comment. Until our next video in this uh, campaign, um, Sean from the, from the Games Yard, good day on you.